In this video, let us solve problems based on Euclid's division lemma. So here we have a question now. It says that, show that every positive even integer is of the form 2q and that every positive odd integer is of the form 2q plus 1 where q is some integer. Now before we go ahead and solve this problem, let us note that this is a problem based on Euclid's division lemma. So the Euclid's division lemma states that A equals BQ plus R where R is greater than or equal to 0 and it's less than B itself. So now this is the reference that we have. A equals BQ plus R. Now, going back to this problem, before we solve this problem, let's kind of analyze this problem, you know, in a very simple way. They say that show that every positive even integer, even is the word that we have to take into consideration. You know, the even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So, is of the form 2q. Obviously, because any number multiplied with 2 becomes an even number. You take an odd number, which is 3, or say 5, or whatever you want, and multiply it with 2 and see that it becomes an even number. 2 times 3 is 6 and see here it is 2 times 3 is 6 with 3 is odd number 2 times 4 is 8 4 is a even number and 2 times 5 equals 10 which is a even number even when you multiply 5 which is odd number with 2 you get a even number so obviously this is going to be the case but you'll have to prove it again prove it in the form of Euclid's division lemma and that every positive odd integer is of the form 2q plus 1 obviously because you multiply anything with 2 it becomes an even number and you add 1 to it it obviously is going to become an odd number you add 1 to 6 it's going to become 7 you add 1 to 8 it's going to become 9 you add 1 to 10 it's going to become 11 and so on but now let's see how do we go about solving this problem the way it is intended to so say now let a be any positive integer and b b equal to 2. So then by Euclid's division lemma which is a equals bq plus r we have and also yeah here exists q and r such that a equals bq plus r but then now that we've taken a as some positive integer and b as 2 let us substitute it. So we get a equals 2q plus r where r is going to be greater than or equal to 0 or and less than 2 because 2 here is b and that's what it says here r should be less than b and greater than or equal to 0. So now if we consider this r can either be equal to 0. So if it is equal to 0 you substitute r as 0 then it's just a equals bq. Now we have r greater than or equal to 0. So let's say if r is equal to 0 what happens if r is equal to 0. You substitute the value of r in this you get a equals 2q and then what else can r be? It can be greater than 0 but it has to be less than 2. So the only number greater than 0 and less than 2 is obviously 1. So when r equals 1 what happens? We get a equals 2q plus 1 because in the place of r we substitute 1. So a equals 2q or a equals 2q plus 1. And I've also shown you even before we started the problem how a equals 2q is just an even number and now a equals 2q plus 1 is an odd number. So this is how we prove that every positive even integer is of the form 2q and that every positive odd integer is of the form 2q plus 1 by using Euclid's division lemma.